Hello, my name is Ben and welcome to my new series. The concept of this series is very simple. My goal is to get 1000 kill streak on all the Slayer monsters in the Slayer kill lock. There's only two Slayer monsters I won't be killing. The first one is the superior creatures and the second one is the revenants. I will be starting the series with 10,000 coins for my first task and at the end of each task I will sell all the loot I have gathered on the grand exchange so I can upgrade my gear for the next monster on the list. I do not know which order I will be killing these monsters in, I will more than likely just go down the list from top to bottom. I will be able to use my house, but I won't be able to buy teleports to get there, I will have to buy them myself. To track these 1000 kills I will be using the slayer ring so I will automatically start off with one of them. For more in depth on the rules I am actually going to be using, you can see the description box down below. So I welcome you to 1000 streak. Hello and welcome back to 1000 Streak. Today's episode is episode 8 and we will be killing a Cockatrice. We will be killing these Cockatrice in the Relica Slayer Cave. So these Camelot teleports here in my invent will come in handy. And everything else in my invent is everything we left with at the end of the previous video. I will now go ahead and buy some gear upgrades where I think that it will be decent. So I'll be back here in a second after I've bought everything I think I need. I'm just going to go quickly to Lumbridge and buy some Barrows Gloves. If you guys want, I'm not really sure if this is class is cheating as I've already done the quest and everything like that. And uh, I'm still having to buy them for... 130k or however how much they are so i wouldn't say this is classed as cheating because i still have to buy them at the end of the day the combat bracelet is is pretty crap so i really don't want to be uh, buying that and using that for very long so i'm gonna buy myself some barrows gloves this is everything we have we have the strength cape the helm of nate's not and that is because I, the Berserker Helm just looked really weird. It just looked really clunky when I zoom in on my character. It, it looks like a helm that your granddad gave you after he passes away and you just thought it was cool and you just, just decided to wear it and it was way too big for you. So I switched out for the Nate Snot Helm. Uh, I also went for an Amulet of Glory, which I had this in the previous video. Pretty much everything the exact same other than the Mirror Shield and the Barrow's Gloves. So the money will be taken over to the next video is 1,453,000 coins but bear in mind that will probably change because these cockatrices actually drop some medium clues so there's no doubt I will need to buy some stuff for that so let's just jump straight into today's video We are currently one quarter of the way through. I will just open up this uh, log here. We are 251 kills in, so literally one kill over a quarter. So I just thought I would do you a quick price check. So, so far we have made 59,976 GP and we have two medium clues here to open, but they will be opened at the end of this video. So if you guys want, you could just times that by four and that might give you a rough idea of what money i might be receiving by the end of this 1000 kills and for the xp we managed to get in this 251 kills we managed to get 18 agility xp 37.2k attack xp and 12.4k hp xp but now i'll be back at 500 kills with a quick update on what xp i have managed to get We are now currently 501 kills in, 
in my event we only managed to get four clues so far that isn't really too bad i'm not really too bothered about the clues i reckon it's just that that slight chance of being able to get range boots which appeals to me so that is why i just continue doing clues but for the xp so far we have gained 48 in agility 74.4k in attack 24.7k in hp and they got a random genie event so we got 760 xp in runecrafting but i thought i would just show you at uh, the halfway point now i'll be back after we get the 1000th kill i'm pretty sure we won't get any attack levels before then but i'll be back after the 1000th kill right here that one should be our 1000th kill so after i've killed this i will just have a look on the ring because on the loot tracker here it says 994 but i'm pretty sure that is 1000 kills if i've calculated it correctly the last time i banked i knew how many i needed to kill i've killed that amount so hopefully now this is the 1000th kill and it is the 1000th kill so now we will scoot on over to the ge so we can sell all this loot so, and then we can see how much we'll be taking into the next episode. So here in my invent is everything from the first price check. I have got all the herbs and the seeds along with the coins. So if I just go ahead and throw this in the price check. So the first price check comes out to be 232,681 GP. So I'll now throw this in the calculator and I'll get everything else out of the bank so we can do a second price check. So here in my invent is everything we got in the second price check. So I'll just now go ahead and throw this in here. So the second price check comes out to be 161,637 GP. So if I go ahead and add this on to the 232,000 we got from the first price check, that brings our profits out to be 394,318. But that is in items. So I'll now go ahead and throw all this on the GE so we can see how much money we will be taking on to the next video. 116 onion seeds, 116 cabbage and 212 potato. All them things did not sell. So these are all going on the floor. We managed to get six medium clues also. So I'll now go ahead and open these. The first medium clue is... Okay, uh, probably not the best. Let me just turn on this all thing for you. Uh, 18,612 GP. Um, that is not the greatest. Uh, the second medium clue is, again, not the greatest. Uh, just some food and stuff like that. I might keep that food because it is better than the trout I do have in the bank for this little series. The third one is also garbage so the fourth one is at least we got uh something actually decent we got a a peaceful blessing once again it is not a very good cash amount only 5468 coins the second to last one is going to be okay this one is really good because that is an ancient page three and it is a new collection log item. So I'll take that any day of the week. We also got some purple sweets. And uh, and a Guffix page free. So uh, that is not bad for the money. Profit wise 109,000 coins. And the last one is going to be. Okay another collection log item. Which I'll take them any days of the week. A Mythful plate body trim. But once again, only 5,000 coins in value. I'll now go ahead and throw all this in a price check. So we can see how much these medium clues came out to be. So we did six medium clues and that came out to be 154,164 GP. So I'll now go ahead and throw all of this on the GE. And I'll be back with you after we've done that. So we can see how much money we'll be taking on to the next episode.
So at the end of this video, we managed to make ourselves 1,968,000. Bear in mind, 1.4 million did come in through the previous video, but we will be taking 1,968,000 GP onto the next episode alongside all of my gear here. But I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.